a rough nightmare for sure. You all look like you're in really bad shape. Nothing's wrong with you? I don't have nightmares. I sleep like a baby every night. If you keep smiling like that, I'm gonna deck you. You can tell I'm happy. To be honest, me and Erica are... Uh, anyway, let's, let's have a drink. Vincent, you're not hiding anything from me, are you? Looks like I was the only one hiding something. So what you gonna do with the girl you're cheating with? She doesn't know you're sleeping around with her, right? I'm a terrible person, aren't I? This is my fault. I'm not gonna run from it. You go, Vincent! I'm gonna break up with her tomorrow. Once I'm clear, I'm gonna... I propose to. I'm sure it'll all work out. Yeah, thanks. Have you checked the high scores for that game? Why are you boasting? Huh? What? I've got the high score right now. But really? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> I'll beat you soon. You guys are really into that game, huh? Yeah. Oh, liquor's really hitting me today. <sighs> Rumors are bullshit. Fuck curses. What was that nightmare about? Erica, she's an angel. Mm. Let's hope she's that too. <laughs> you got mail. Looking so good. Vincent. Good evening. Would you like to speak to would you like to speak to Martha? You can't accept the dishonesty of politicians, can you? You can't accept the rising cost of goods, can you? This one? Mr. Justin would say the same thing. Did you know that Mr. Justin once interviewed a ballerina? Did you know she was Miss Anna's best friend? Did you know that it was Mr. Daniel who made Miss Anna stop crying? I see. Mr. Archie died this morning. Mr. Morgan died this morning. What? It's two days until the time of freedom. You got mail. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Our love is over.
No. Nah. error in my favor. He's adopted. He's been working hard all his life to repay the parents who raised him. He fought his way through, dealing with pressures all this time. He's a truly pitiable soul. I knew that I wouldn't be able to marry him, and that he was going to become someone else's from the very beginning. And now that day has come. Uh, cheer up. <sighs> Don't patronize me. for a different story. She's pregnant, but she's marrying a man who isn't the father of her child. And she's not going to tell him that he isn't. It's the truth. Seriously? Yeah, but I hear it happens all the time. She doesn't actually know who the father is. So among all the possible fathers, she went for the one who is the kindest and the dullest. He'll raise the baby, believing it to be his child. I'm sure he'd be happier if he didn't know. I don't think I agree with that. I hear that in any romantic relationship, feelings decline over time. One theory is that love is a drug, like alcohol or cigarettes. Repeated exposure makes you numb to it. That is, it's only hot and heavy in the beginning. It's the truth. Goodbye. Nicholas Clark, age 29, was the latest victim. What a grisly story. <sighs> Archie Wallace, age 28. Archie? <sighs> oh my, Archie? These deaths are hitting close to home these days. Morgan Cortez, age 42. Morgan? <sighs> Did she just say Morgan Cortez? That's the officer who used to come here. Kevin Taylor, age 31. That concludes the current known list of victims. If we learn of any new information... Marriage is... two people becoming one. It's the truth. To bear another person's life is very difficult. And very frightening. I'm gonna head home. Excuse me. 
I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your class. One style of cocktail that requires the most experience and technique to create is the pousse café. Normally, cocktails are stirred thoroughly, but this is a cocktail you cannot mix. The bartender creates a beautiful rainbow inside the glass by carefully layering differently colored liqueurs according to their densities. But what's the best way to drink this? Mixing it will ruin the effect. And if you don't mix it, it stays separated. Perhaps the agony of indecision is part of the Pousse Café's appeal. And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight.